following the murder of Hilberto Sutz on Monday evening. Residents of Key Cocker complained to the media of what they described as a rampant corruption within the Key Cocker police subformation. When we were on the island yesterday, we spoke to some very irate residents. People are here tired of what the police been doing for months and it's not like the commanding officers of the police department doesn't know because I personally have sent emails and went to meet with, uh, with people in San Pedro about the activity of the police officers on this island. I'm a business owner on this island and what the police been doing is not helping the community. It actually hurts the community because tourists, the tourists have been robbed and set up and a lot of stuff been going on. I hear while you talking this morning, they have a couple of names written down with who they want to pick up to make them do things too. Well, I just want to tell the media this, I don't know a bad man, but all they want to do, that start another riot. Because by the time they come for me and lock we up or lock up anyone and we right there, it going, it going farther and I want the media to know we really tired of this and want justice. We need justice. We tired of it because all the little youth there were used to hustle, you know, we, not, we, not, we, we can't do nothing again because the police, they carry the um, tourists there at uh, uh, ATM and they collect money for the tourists there. They sell their drugs. Look at us. We look at us, the youths. We need to sell drugs. Police take over the job. Police they sell weed and powder. You know? And I want justice out of this because they know I got a chance to make for we right wrong. I am so happy that, you know, finally the village stand up for someone. You know, because we are tired of these police people chancing the, the, the community. So I am so happy that we came out because I came out and see too. You know, and I say, well, you know, at least Kikaker wake up now because this is the fourth man they killing Kikaker. You know what I would like for these people to do is break down that police station and build a new one because I believe that that is a curse because it's the fourth man that they kill in there. And if they don't do it, if San Pedro could break down a police station, Kikaker could also do it and get a new police station. We caught up with Assistant Commissioner of Police, Noel Leal, who was leading the internal investigation for the Professional Standards Branch, according to ACP Leal. He spoke to the chairman of Key Cocker Villager, Wayne Miller, who he says did not share the views of the residents. You know, I'm coming from a, a meeting with the village council members, and there was no complaint. Rather, there was compliment, there was thank you, there was appreciation for the behavior of the officers last night. I have spoken to some of the commanders who are here on the ground, and um, they didn't receive any complaint from anyone, nor, nor have we heard of any use of excessive force. So I don't know. There might be one or two people who, of course, will not probably appreciate the police person. But the larger community, um, as far as we are concerned, are quite happy and are thankful. As a matter of fact, I had a very special um, uh, communication with the, chair, with the chairman last night, and he was very happy and appreciative of what the police did last night in restoring peace and safety and law and order here at Kikaka. Today we are told that he is not on the island, he's left. You have not spoken with him. Which, which person might that be? The chairman. Okay, I chairman. spoke with him by phone. Oh, yeah. But, but by he's phone. not here today any longer. Well, okay, I don't know where he is, but um, from what I got from him last night, um, he, he was satisfied. But um, since coming this morning, we haven't heard any complaint. We have heard one or two disgruntled people, but, um, and that was the purpose of, of, of meeting with the, village, with, the, with the village council to assure them that we will leave no stone unturned. 